Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle like a diamond. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle on the island and my army jacket. Guys, today I want to talk to you about club energy and motivation. So the obsession with motivation with regard to sports and achievement is probably at an all time high now because YouTube has enabled everybody to see motivational videos whenever they want. And anybody that's never achieved anything in their life can make a motivational video on YouTube and fill it with a bunch of garbage that sounds good. But what I want to tell you is that club energy is much more important than being motivated and you can fall ass backwards on accident into club energy and you can get there by fostering a life but whether it's by accident or deliberate it's just much much better than motivation so club energy is very simple it's the energy you feel when you go out at night all dressed up in front of people that you don't know and your favorite songs are playing. This mix of nostalgia and excitement and uncertainty and certainty that you look good and feel good, plus moving your body around randomly and basically dancing. Um, all that excitement snowballs on itself until you got a whole vibe going for a night. This is club energy and it's where you discover sources of energy you thought were depleted for the day like oh man i've been working hard and i should be asleep but you know how is it two o'clock in the morning and i'm still going hard you know that's club energy club energy is, is exciting something about the novelty of it in, in the dark with lights and you know you find yourself talking to people that normally you don't want to talk to these people and you don't even like the things you're talking about and you're like I'm not usually this upbeat. I'm not usually this much of an energetic person, but what is it about being here that has captivated me and, and catapulted me into being the most inspired version of myself? Well, what is it? Well, it's club energy. And what are you inspired to do? Well, probably nothing very productive, but what if you could have club energy, but be inspired to do something productive with it? And that's what I'm talking about here. So you would never listen to a motivational video on YouTube and try to encapsulate the principles in it to carry you to a club. In fact, it would be the opposite. But, <laughs> you know, how is it that you're always able to muster the energy to get another hour in at a club or another night in at a club? It's it's like so much inspiration exists there that you almost have to fight it to not go do it. And that's what I'm talking about, bottling and channeling into a productive avenue. And obviously, we're talking about basketball. So like for me, my entire life of getting in the gym and working was um, about club energy. That's what got me there was the same exact inspiration of people dancing in the club at night with the lights all flashing and the crazy music and feeling good. That's the exact vibe and the exact energy that put me in the gym and worked, working on my game for years and years and years until it became decades and decades. So imagine that it's nighttime and it's dark and you're listening to Drake and his the next song comes on on the playlist man you didn't know it was coming on you haven't heard it in a while but it drops and all of a sudden you're singing with it and your body's moving and you're just feeling it you lose yourself and you don't care what people think because the lights are off and you don't care about the things you were worried about earlier in the day because the music has taken you there and plus the way your body is moving the whole energy is just snowballing in a good direction. Now, I'm not talking about a nightclub. I'm talking about you're in the gym because all of that happens in the gym at night. That's exactly what happens. You're in there by yourself in the dark with the right music, the right playlist, and your body's moving. And that's it. It's really as simple as that. So if 
if you, you want to watch a motivational video and try to tell yourself, I'm going to write a new goal down on paper and it's going to take me into the gym to shoot a thousand jump shots every day for the next week. It's typically not going to work for most people, but for most people, club energy gets them moving. And part of how you can use club energy in basketball, first and foremost, is to work out at nighttime. At second, you have to work out with music. Um, and third, you, <laughs> you have to abstain from uh, going to actual clubs, obviously, because if you use up all your club energy momentum in real clubs, then you won't have it in reserves to use it in the gym. And that's really important because as you know, you can get burnt out from going to the club. So, you know, you don't wanna burn out that energy and not have it available for the gym. Now, all right, look, look, look. You might be thinking, you know, what's the difference? Energy is energy, you know, there's no difference, but there is a difference. Look, club energy is raunchy. It's dystopian. It's dark. It's despicable. It's ugly. It's not, um, it's reprehensible, right? Club energy is dirty and nasty. Whereas motivational energy is clean and nice and pristine and articulate and um, pure and for the right reasons and virtuous. Man, at the end of the day, the truth is that stuff doesn't push most people to get out and move themselves. What pushes you to get out and move yourself is to connect with the fact that you're a dark entity, a dark being, and you want to go out there and get dirty and be dark. And the reason that you're able to let loose in a club like that is because you have to pretend that you're not that person all day long and for most of your life. So finally, when you get in a situation that it's okay to unbottle that a little bit, it doesn't just unbottle, it explodes. That's why club energy carries you through fatigue. Yo, will you shut up? It carries you through being tired. It carries you through everything where you, you can work for hours on end. And by work, I mean dance and stand and drink and party beyond what you thought should be your bedtime, your body's bedtime. And, and, and that's the point is that it's dystopian, right? It's reprehensible, it's ugly. And so when I'm in the gym, it's, it's, it's gotta be dark, right? It's gotta be nighttime, right? It's gotta be because I'm worthless. It's gotta be because I'm reprehensible. It's gotta be because I wasn't invited to something because I'm just too dank and sweaty and dirty. And, and my clothes don't fit and I don't match. And you know what? I don't care. And like, and that's what being in the club is all about is like, I don't care. Whereas being in the gym as the result of a motivational video is all about how much you care. And it's all about how, yo, I'm clean and I live right and I do things right. And, and I'm the savior of my life and the savior uh, of upholding ideals. But it's like, man, you got to allow dark energy to take you places. Dark energy isn't about upholding ideals. It's about releasing your ideals and letting yourself be reprehensible and letting yourself be a human embodiment of a snarl. You know, you watch a motivational video and you become the human embodiment of someone smiling on a stage, preaching ideals, right? doesn't motivate nobody and, and, and here's the caveat for this video this channel is about nuance it's about developing tools and knowing when and where to use them so all the things that I'm throwing shade on and, and degrading and speaking down on today we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to speak good on them in another video we're gonna talk about how to use them because remember tools have times and places so the motivational videos and the upholding ideals, that will all have its place. It seems contradictory, but it's not. It's about having many, 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 many tools in your belt and then the judicious wisdom to know when and where to apply which. Now, why am I teaching you about this tool today? It's because it's so contradictory to what you're taught in the mainstream or by most people, which is to be beacons of ideals and light and then 
you know, we all secretly go get down and dirty and reprehensible at nighttime in the club. And it's like, no, use your reprehensible, dirty behavior at nighttime in the gym. That's when you're most able to push through your energetic fatigue based barriers. You know, it's your raunchy energy that takes you there. And, and sometimes it's only raunchy energy that will take you there. You know, it's the I'm despicable energy that takes you there. That's your club energy. You know, that's, that's the, the lights are off and nobody's looking and the music's going. And it's not the same as I'm in the gym with a coach and he's counting my shots and telling me, oh, good shot, good shot. Yeah, let's get more up, more of that. Great job, amazing. And then you're like, yeah, I'm in the gym when nobody else is, I'm the man. Nah, man, sometimes you wanna be in the gym with the same inner dialogue as in the club, like, man, I wonder what my parents would think if they, if they saw what a, a, a degenerate, <laughs> you know, a degenerate turd I am, man. You know, a lot of times I, I tried to bring that energy into the gym with me at nighttime. It's like, yo, what's wrong with me? Like, it's, it's 12 at night, it's one in the morning. Like, what kind of person am I that I have to be in here to satisfy my needs? that I got to be in here dunking the ball at night so ferociously just to feel alive and like a human. I mean, isn't that something that you say to yourself sometimes when you're at the club? Like, man, what am I doing here? I got to be in this dank, dingy dungeon of a place just to feel alive. What's wrong with me? Man, I'm telling you, there's a lot of power and energy behind that sentiment. And you need to learn how to incorporate that into your basketball journey. It's the dark side of motivational energy that's equally as important as the light side because the light side is not always going to be there to carry you and I'll tell you especially in all your moments of failure because when you're immersed in failure all the light energy and the motivation and the preaching about how good you are and how good you can be by upholding ideals it doesn't resonate it doesn't stick to you you know why because you feel like trash you feel like a loser you feel like all I've been doing is ranking up L's, so don't try to come and preach to me this energy about uh, what a beacon of light and hope I am, because I'm a hopeless. And sometimes that's the only energy that'll carry you through a three hour workout at night all by yourself. You know, the, yeah, I'm worthless out here, and, and, and there's no hope going on here. So you know what, I'm just gonna dunk my body into oblivion and, and throw myself at the basket as fast as I can, you know, working on my first step. You know, I'm so worthless that the only thing I really deserve in life is to sweat through this t-shirt and look how dirty it is anyway. Look what a punk I am. I broke into this gym. I'm not allowed to be in this gym. You know, I, I stole this stereo out of somebody's, my teacher's classroom so that I could use it for an hour while you know, I'll return it later, but I'm not supposed to be doing this. Like, look what a reject I am. Now, see how some of that dialogue is what you go through when you're at the club? I mean, maybe not when it's your birthday and you have bottle service and you're dressed as fresh as possible, but most of the time when you're at the club, you know you're a degenerate. I used to go to the gym knowing what a degenerate I was, knowing that I, I was an outcast, knowing, yo, you got problems, my guy. The same thing that somebody says to you when it's 3.30 in the morning after a night out at the club and you're stuffing your face with greasy french fries and they're just so good and the guy across the table from you who's your boy for the night, you know, you've been hanging out with him all night, he says, man, what is wrong with you? And you think, yeah, what's wrong with me, bro? <laughs> Let's get some more french fries. And you love it. You love it and you keep going. Man, that's that dark energy that you need. Just replace club with gym. Turn the lights out. Same music, same motion with your body, same energy. Same, I don't deserve a normal life because I'm trash. Same, I'm a sweat through my t-shirt energy. You guys got that? You guys understand this, what I'm saying? You know, usually after these nighttime workouts, these degenerate workouts, yeah, I get back in the locker room and I regroup, recoup my positive thoughts and I look around and I think, you know what, I did just put in two and a half hours, three and a half hours 
of solid work. It's two o'clock in the morning. Everybody else is out clubbing. Man, just worked out in this gym in pitch black. There was only a small light from the time being kept on the scoreboard that somebody accidentally left on. And the playlist I had going was fire. You know what? I'm not such a degenerate after all. Because everything I did tonight was, man, was that productive. And you know what? It's funny because when you're in your real low points in basketball, which are not few and far between, but uh, very common. When you're at your lowest points in basketball and you need to get some wins in your life, um, a three-hour session on the court is sometimes the only win that you can get. But positive, virtuous, light motivation energy will never take you to a three-hour workout on the court when you're in your real low points in basketball. The only thing that'll take you there is that dark, degenerate energy that says, man, I'm so worthless. You know, I don't, I don't deserve to be around people. I don't deserve nothing. The only thing I deserve is a beating. So I guess I'm gonna go in this gym and beat myself to death. And suddenly you're on the other side of three hour workout and you're like, hey, wait a second. I just gotta win. Like this workout itself was a W. And hey, I, I'm no degenerate after all. So you see the cyclical nature of that little journey. See, so you gotta have these tools in your belt. You gotta be aware of them, know how to use them. I'm sure you've fallen into them accidentally somehow, but get them in the forefront of your conscious mind and your deliberate behavior and you can start to utilize them for good, even though they're dark. Uh, you know, unify them with the dark and the light motivational energy and ooh, baby.